You can cut that full interview with Evans Mens on PM Express online. Now, John News checks at the construction site of Ghana's first amphitheater in Kumasi reviews the structure is still at foundation level, elapsing the slated three-month completion date. Now, this is despite government's assurance that the edifice would have been commissioned last month. In the following report, Lava Firm's Emmanuel Brightquick, who assesses the progress of work on the project. We say in the name of the Father, in April this year, when he had sold for work to begin on the construction of Ghana's first amphitheater, Deputy Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Marco Krikumante, was emphatic on completion date. This amphitheater is supposed to start any moment from now. We are casting thought in the next few minutes. By end of July, it should be ready. Can the media take this one? Please put this on record. Let me thank you for now with the South for mentioning. On October 19, 2022, Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Dr. Ibrahim Mohamed Awal, announced the government's plan to build five multi-purpose domes or amphitheaters by the close of December 2022. We are going to build five amphitheaters, domes. One area that we lack in this country, that we don't have much purpose, you know, venue for activities. We're going to do five this year. In fact, I think the process has already begun to procure supplies. This year, next year, we'll have done 550 acres. And then we'll, we'll do another five next year. So by 2024, we'll have done all the system years we'll have recovered. To get the venue for our artists to perform and for events to take place. Again, what I'll do, we're creating jobs, create the opportunity for Ghanaians. <laughs> The project, as part of the ministry's developmental initiatives, is to revamp tourism and the creative art industry in Ghana. But the assurance never saw the light of day within a specified time frame. Coming into 2023, many creative art industry players had hoped construction works for the facility would begin expeditiously in the early part of the year. But it was not until six months after the announcement was made that the Deputy Sector Minister, Marco Krikumanti, cut sword for the multi-purpose domes. We are here, we are on the soil or on the ground to start the project. And so we are here to, to do the fair thing. Amphitheaters are open-air venues used for entertainment, performances and sports. The amphitheater would have a thousand sloping seat capacity, including theater stands stages with seating on only one side. The project is expected to be replicated across 16 regions of Ghana with five of them seen completion this year. Ace Ghanaian actor and chairman of the Ghana Actors Guild, the Shanti chapter, Bill Asamoah, was convinced the structure would uplift the creative industry. Even though we have amphitheaters here in Kumasi already, this is a modern set of the art where it's covered, where we can do our premieres, the sound and everything will be. That will be fit a movie theater. So we appreciate it so much. Three months after the Deputy Minister's assurance, I visited the site to assess the progress of work. Exactly seven days to the end of July, and this as a level of work at the project site. The foundation for this amphitheater has been laid as constructors over here race against time to complete the edifice. But one could only wonder if they would be able to meet the expected date for commissioning. Constructors at the site who opted to speak off camera could not confirm to me when the project will be completed. Not everyone is happy with the delayed promise. The first one that they promised has not even actually taken any shape. So what's the guarantee that we're going to have those five in the year and by 2024 we should have all the 16 regions have amphitheaters? I mean, come on. I, I don't think anyone can actually justify this. So obviously it's a deceit. Entertainment pundit Ebenezer Donko is perturbed by the government's faltering commitment to
to the creative arts. So you're just looking at a government that's ready to put some of these things in place to make sure that creatives get to enjoy. Let's not forget that creatives contribute a lot to the economy. And if we really want to actually put this nation forward, we really want to talk about things that this country can offer, the creative industry is very important. We always seem to think about just tourism and think about our tourism destinations and our tourism sites. With hopes of salvaging Ghana's struggling creative arts sector, it was expected that the first of the 16 edifices located at the Kumasi Cultural Center would soon be completed. Successive governments have over the years failed in their mandates to either deliver on promises on time or abandon projects completely. But the question is, are these delayed promises in the creative arts industry denying the country economic boost? For Joy News, my name is Emmanuel Bright Quick.